Okay, yeah, I have more to say. Some things that irk me. Uh, and I, I put them in the comment section of my last video. And um, things was this. Kristen, Chris, how can we know then if anybody is a real Christian? If it is dependent on one's own self-conviction of having this personal relationship with Christ, and if it's only God that judges the person, how can anyone know if anyone else is a real Christian? How can you? And how then can you trust any other professing Christian? When you go listen to a teacher or a preacher, could they not be one of the most dangerous people there is? that wolf in sheep's clothing and you call people like Yoke up and Caroline Jeff and Caroline your brothers and sisters in Christ people who call pastors liars and other people human garbage and use the scripture to justify this and yet they are your brothers and sisters in Christ I dare say this Chris that I could be and probably am more of a brother in Christ quote unquote than they are to you the other thing I wanted to say in my comments though um, the thing that that I said in my comments should I say is that the thing that irked me that I don't miss at all is all the BS in church how can you know, even as if I was to be Christian, then of what is expected to me is to uh, not, quote unquote, forsake the gathering of the brethren, which is another scripture taken out of context and used to to say that you must go to church. But anyway, all the BS that goes on in church, you know what I mean. We have this tendency, or I had the tendency, and I could see it in other people when I went to church that you want to put up this your best spiritual facade up front to make sure everyone believes that you are a good Christian you know and you'll wow you'll really do your hardest to push things down and it's the little things I'm not talking about major sins here that we should not tell people you know and confront people about if they're stealing or cheating on their wife and stuff it's things that are going to ruin their life but it's the little things that the BS that goes on you know uh, if you said shit or the kind of music you listen to or um, if you smoke you know these things that we try to hide from other people while we're going to church so we can kind of look good you know it puts such it's such baggage and it goes on in most churches and you can't deny that. And then, then, these people go home. How many times have I heard it from teenagers? All right. And then they'll come home from church and their parents will act totally different. And they see the hypocrisy that goes on. And then we wonder why they want to turn away. Kids, in a lot of ways, are a lot smarter and discerning <laughs> than adults are, or, or more, uh, they're more discerning than we want to give credit to. So I wanted to add those things in there, okay. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, again, it does come down to the um, authority of the Bible. And all the scriptures you were using were in John, uh, probably the latest gospel that was added uh, to the Bible and that um, developed the Christi Christology and the doctrines of the, the deity of Christ. This is a later book, probably around 90 years that it's dated to. But again, uh, we have only copies of copies of copies. We have no original manuscripts you would also think that Jesus would write something down. You would think that a better book would have been written to to clarify, to make sure that none shall perish and fall away, which is the will of God as stated in the Bible, that none should perish. 
But yet, 11 out of 12 will burn in hell. Hmm. I don't know. I judge a person by their character, how much they care for human beings, their love, how they treat people, more than what they say their belief is. Even though that, I mean, you're going to be judged harshly if you say you believe something and act differently. Okay, that's all I'm more I wanted to add. I'm off for a good weekend, and uh, take care, everybody. And uh, may you prosper in everything you do.